Hello everyone, I'm Teresa, I'm working in Gili Travanga um, and I would like to show you a little bit around of what's going on in uh, emergency aid for all the earthquake victims in Lombok. So what you see here is a huge pile of clothes um, and supplies that are going to be packed, sorted and then shipped to Lombok as soon as possible. So all the people in need have what they use on a daily basis uh, to survive. So now we are moving to the packing area. Um, we have section for clothes, uh, anything for women, men, children. Um, and then we have area, the area on the right where all the food is going to be packed. Uh, we ration it so we have packages that can go to families straight away and there will be rice, oil, sugar, anything they need inside so they can survive for a couple of days. Um, if we move a bit further, you can see oh, Natasha is already bringing some packed boxes with towels and blankets which are really important at this time as well because about 150,000 people did lose their home. They need a lot of support um, so they can comfortably sleep at night. So here we have Josie from uh, Australia but she works as an instructor in Gillis as well and she's a massive support um, coordinating and organizing all the food and uh, clothes deliveries to be split um, so maybe Josie if you can tell us a little bit about what you're doing here right now how you support uh, all the people in all the people in need so right now uh, we've been extremely lucky uh, our friend Hanson uh, has organized uh, the North Kuta police uh, station and we've had uh, three I think drop-off points where the entire Indonesian community has donated insane amount of clothes so basically what we're doing is we want to have little bundles so that it's very easy to go to different communities so uh, they're able to be warm uh, and comfortable obviously we get maybe two pounds of pair of pants uh, maybe a short and a long to keep them warm and then we go through maybe a long sleeve t-shirt uh, and just a regular t-shirt uh, and then what we do is, is we just bundle them up so that it's very easy that we just throw them out obviously there's a lot of communities that have nothing so uh, it just gives them something to wear uh, obviously behind we're doing the food packing, I think you just seen earlier, which is just little boxes for each family uh, or each village just with bits and pieces in it. It just makes it super simple for some lovely lady in Lombok to get a nice little package of outfits uh, to wear over the, the next little while while they rebuild their homes and their families. We are uh, in the food section right now, so you see Sarah and Harry right here um, making nice little packages for the people in need. So maybe Harry, if you would like to tell us a little bit about your job right now here. Um, so what we're doing, making three cups of rice, uh, putting them in the boxes. We have four rice bags, one oil. Uh, ten little like sausage stick things. Uh, what's that? Sixteen me. Some noodles. Uh, some spices. Uh, sugar, some tea, and tin sardines. Uh, basically, evenly in all the boxes, and then put them on the boat, send them over there, and drop them off to each community. My name is Seth Emmerich. I'm one of the owners of the Irish Bar on Gilly Trawangan and I'm from Austin, Texas, USA. It was about us getting together as a community and making a plan. Uh, a lot of us decided to come to Bali, and once we've, since we've been in Bali, our efforts have been to get um, supplies, uh, food, water, shelter to the people in Lombok that lost their homes. When you have an operation uh, the size that we have, you always need one voice telling everybody what to do, and I was elected to be that voice. Um, I'm in no way in charge of anything. We have, a, we have a team of people in charge, but when it comes to actually talking to everybody and letting everybody know uh, which lines we're going down, how to get things from point A to point B, I'm basically vocalizing it to the group. Basically, we got the call that, that water and noodles and rice were needed, so we just went to the wholesale suppliers that we knew in Bali. Um, we, we have a whole team of people on supplies look, finding us the best prices, so we're going there, we're filling up trucks. Once we get the three basic necessities nailed down, which is food, water, shelter, we can actually start doing specific orders for medical supplies, uh, low-end stuff like Panadol, you know, things that, more creature comfort sort of things if you were to call it that, blankets, pillows, but the, the, the first call was definitely food, water, shelter.
However, our, our main focus is on, on the trucks. We're just filling up trucks and sending them as quick as possible. We have various people on the ground over there. Uh, uh, we've got a guy called Victor. We've got a, a girl called Anna from the Pituk Foundation. Um, the supplies are getting there and they're getting to uh, the people that they need. Yeah, all of us were from Gili, uh, Gili Troang and we're, we're, we're not from Bali. So something that would take five minutes on the island is taking two and a half hours here because of the traffic. There's a lot of people trying to do a lot and it's, it's really trying to channel that energy into, into one basic focus because everybody wants to, you know, everybody wants to help and do, and do something and start buying stuff. But um, it, it, getting us all to do it as, as one unit is, because, is, is the most efficient way that we can do it. The, tr the cost of transportation is actually our biggest hurdle. Each individual dive shop has set up their own GoFundMe page. Um, other people in Lombok have set up theirs as well. Uh, a lot of the money has come out of our own pockets. Donations to the GoFundMe pages and donations from people that are in Indonesia is actually what we need most at the moment because we are our funds are starting to dry up a little bit. Thank you very much for following me around today. And please, please, please keep doing what you're doing. You're an amazing support at home. We need your help. The local people in Lombok, they need your support. Um, and we cannot do it without you. So we have the fundraising app. Um, we have accounts uh, in different places. So please just contact us. Um, if you want the account details, every, every penny, cent, pound, whatever it is, counts. Um, and the people in Lombok, um, they will get all the money Money that you donate directly um, and it all, go, all goes to them. So please stay tuned, we will keep you updated on what we are doing um, and thanks again. See you soon, bye!